So let me grab these real quick. Thank you, sir. So we have our scores tallied and we will share with you the winners. They're all winners this evening. Our contestant for the Mrs. E.C. America 2018 pageant. But first, we want to honor our reigning queen, Mrs. Julie Cangelosi, Mrs. D.C. America 2017. Julie, come on out. Ladies, have the floor. I have been able to raise awareness and promote my platform of pregnancy loss and infertility to a wider audience than I would have ever imagined, while in the process raising over $170,000 for various organizations, including the Kate Foundation. I hope that my story of passion and perseverance in pursuit of a dream will have a positive impact to inspire others to never give up on their dreams. There are so many people I would like to thank for being such an integral part of this journey. They say it takes a village, and they're right. The support and love we have received from our friends is beyond measure. To my very own fairy godmother, Joanne from Deja Vu. To my bot squad, Stacy from Fitness Together. To my glam squad, Marta, Artis, Soderma, Lowe's Island Dentistry, and Nova Derm Institute. To my parents, who have always been so supportive of all of my dreams, whether big or small, and have always been my number one fans. To Raquel, our fearless leader, Thank you for your mentoring and your guidance throughout this extraordinary year. To Elaine and David Marmel, my Mrs. America and Mrs. World parents, thank you for the opportunity to make a dream come true and for all of your continued support. To my beautiful home of DC, where for the past 10 years, so many of my dreams have come true. My marriage, my family, and this very special moment. To my beautiful children, Landon and Elle, you both inspire me to always be present and remind me daily that a smile can shine more brightly than any crown jewels. I'm incredibly thankful for the man who made me a missus. James, my rock, my Mr. DC America, words alone cannot express how much you mean to me. Your support over the past year has been incredible. Thank you for not only supporting my dreams, but embracing them as your own. My year as your reigning Mrs. DC America 2017 is quickly coming to a close. I will continue to use my voice to champion my platform and to strive to make a positive difference in the lives of others. To my successor, my wish is that your crown is balanced by pride and humility and that you achieve your personal best and that you enjoy every minute. For your last time, I'm your Mrs. DC America 2017. Julie off the hook that easy. So 
We want to learn a little bit about your year as Mrs. DC America 2017. So for those who weren't with us last year, tell us about your platform once more. We heard it on the voiceover, but let's hear it one more time about your platform and how you promoted it in 2017. So first of all, thank you all so much for the standing ovation. I really do appreciate it. I have been incredibly honored and blessed to be on Mrs. DC America 2017. I really used it. I used my voice to be able to champion for those who didn't have one. For women who have suffered from pregnancy loss, miscarriage, infertility, we are one in four or one in eight. And it is time that somebody stands up to take away the stigma so that way we can tell our stories, so we can grieve openly. And I've had the opportunity to do this on a much bigger platform, more than I've ever been able to imagine. Raising money for the Kate Foundation, providing life by those grants of infertility. We have now brought six beautiful babies into this world because of that money. And I know that we're not done. And I'm certainly not done. I may be your last day as your Mrs. DC America, but I am certainly not done making an impact. Thank you for your time and your sacrifice. It did take a lot of time away from your family to go and promote your platform. So thank you. Thank you, James. Thank you, Cangelosi family, for letting Julie do greater good. Now, not only did you compete at Mrs. America, you also competed on the Mrs. World stage. So tell us a little bit about Vegas, Mrs. America, Mrs. Wow. World, Miss of America. You were a busy lady this year. It was a busy year, but one I will certainly remember. Uh, Mrs. America was great. One week with 52 beautiful women across the U.S. who are making a difference. These are inspiring women, many of which I'm fortunate enough to see ladies here today. Thank you. Um, and then, of course, having the opportunity to compete at Mrs. World. It was the first year that the Marmels decided to send more than one representative. And the opportunity to be the first ever Mrs. of America and be able to get to know people like Alice even more. Because when you believe it, there's 52 women. It's so hard for everyone to be your bestie by the end of the week. It just really is. So it really wasn't until the Mrs. World week where she truly became my soul sister, my other half, where we were literally sitting having wings the night before uh, pre this. So we have had so much fun. We went to pet cheetahs and really just having the opportunity to inspire. And now my network has grown. So pageantry is really all about connecting strong, powerful women who have a sub one common goal, and that's empowering. Working with your causes and helping others to leave the world a better place than you found it. And I am so grateful for my Mrs. America and my Mrs. World sister that's here today. Thank you for being here. I am trying my best not to shed a tear, but thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you all. We have a tonight's an emotional night for many reasons, but tomorrow the sun will rise, there's a new day. So what is next for Julie Cangelosi, Mrs. DC America 2017? Well, first, I'm going to eat a cheeseburger, and then uh, cheer on my Washington Capitals at game two, where I'm hoping we're going to bring a big win. But, as I said, my community work is definitely not done. I would love to be able to expand, expand my platform even further, but I want to continue my growth and my journey. I recently had an opportunity to do some red carpet interviews, and that's really something that I'm looking to explore. Being able to MC, maybe one day follow in your footsteps as well, Rick, be the, the female voice of DC <laughs> here. But we'll see what the world has. But until then, I'm going to enjoy all the time with my devoted husband, who has been through a lot as well this last year, and really enjoy those moments with Elle and Linda. Let's hear it for Mrs. DC America 2017. Julie Cantalosi. Now, Julie, we're going to have you don't go too far. We're going to need you to stay up here with us. And I need my girl Renee to come on and join me up here on stage. Where's Renee? There she is. Can everybody give it up for Renee Scarlett Allen, please? We could not do this without you. Thank you so much for being a voice of the husbands out there, yes. and all of our attendees, thank you. These women wouldn't be on this stage with, without all of you lifting them up, supporting them, and bringing them to this night. So, without further ado, we're just going to get right to it. Yeah. You have your own mic, don't you? You've got a lot of mics going on. So, we are going to announce, and I'm going to have you announce, our top three 
Wow. Her name, the wow. People's MC. The right voice of DC. All right. Our top three. This is our first. DuPont. <laughs> Congratulations, Leia. Our second finalist is Capitol Hill. Let's hear from Mrs. Capitol Hill, ladies and gentlemen. This is unique. We do have a tie. We have a tie for our third and final spot. So they'll be four. Our third out of four finalist is Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing on time? We're doing pretty good, about 10 after 10. Okay, we're gonna collect those flowers. But it's about 10 after 10, you guys hanging in there? We still got some energy? You got, are we gonna see you at uh, Opera Lounge? For the after party tonight? VIPs, do not rip off those wristbands. You need those to get in for free at Opera. Okay, we're gonna have a good time. Ain't that right? Yes, sir, yes. So this is the moment we've been waiting for. The crowning of our winner. Once again, all of our contestants on this stage have provided sacrifices. They've had tremendous support from their families. We thank you all for that support system. We thank you for promoting these wonderful platforms for being a voice for some of those without one. This is a wonderful, wonderful group to be a part of, a great organization to be a part of, and we thank you for your patronage, for your coming out, and for your support. Because there's four, we're gonna announce a first, I'm sorry, a second runner-up. First runner up. Third, second. But not first, just the winner. And we have two third runners up. They are Columbia Heights. Congratulations, Mrs. Columbia Heights and Mrs. Adams Morgan. And now the moment that we've been waiting for, the announcement of our winner, the next name we announce, is our new Mrs. DC America 2018. Are we ready? Yeah. I'm sorry, are we ready?
Are you ready, Renee? Your Mrs. DC America 2018 is Mrs. Mrs. Dupont. Freedom when I share.